I'll be demoing the NAB assay QC feature, which was developed as part of our 17.1 release of LabKey Server. Um, NAB stands for Neutralizing Antibodies and is one of our plate-based assays and has been part of the platform for a number of years, but prior to the 17.1 release um, has not included any QC features as some of our other assays such as Luminex have. The QC feature was added to address the need to be able to manually inspect the data after the initial upload and potentially exclude wells from any analysis that is performed on the uploaded data. This includes curve fitting, cutoff determination, and AUC or area under the curve computation. Um, a researcher may want to exclude wells from analysis in cases where much of the data is of good quality and could otherwise be used. So once, once data has been uploaded, the, the QC workflow is initiated through the Run Details page. If the user is an administrator in the folder containing the NAB data, they will have access to um, the Review QC data menu. If they click on that, they will be taken to the, the QC wizard. Uh, what they'll see is the various sections for the control wells, um, the sample well groups for each of the samples that they have configured on the plate. Now each of these, each of these check boxes represents a well on the plate with the value, uh, the actual plate value that was taken. In addition, if there are, uh, for the sample well groups, uh, we have the dilution curve that is shown for that specific sample. Um, we have the concentration and neutralization uh, for that well group and also the individual wells that correspond to that sample well group. Um, one thing that we've done um, to facilitate the QC is that um, for each of the points that contributes to the curve fit, uh, we're showing the, um, the CV line, which is the uh, coefficient of variation, um, to help the, uh, the person performing the QC identify potential um, well replicate groups that may have a problem, uh, the, the data may not be uh, as good quality. So. Um, Going through, the, um, the, the user will look at the various sections and determine whether or not a specific well group um, should be emitted from the calculations. And so they would do that by selecting the various checkboxes. Um, and they can either select individual wells, they can uh, select both wells for the for the replicate group, or if they wanted to, they could emit a, an entire sample. Once they've finished visually inspecting the first page, they can move on to the second page, which is the confirmation page. Here what's displayed are all the wells that have been excluded from the prior page. Um, in this page, the user can add any comments, uh, which are optional, um, and these will be saved away with the omitted wells. And also at the bottom of the plate layout, um, for the specific plate displays which wells have been currently omitted. In the confirmation page, the user can decide that they want to um, stop omitting the wells from the, from the QC by clicking on the delete button. Or they can always go back to the previous page to either unselect 
selections or add new ones. And this should be reflected on the next page as well. Once the user is satisfied that the, that the visual QC is complete, they would go ahead and click the finish button. This saves any information to the database and re-performs the calculations, which includes um, curve fitting on the non-excluded wells um, and any post-analysis that's done, which includes the um, cutoff calculation and area under the curve. So now in the, um, in the details view, you'll see uh, any omitted wells. Um, in this case, I've omitted the entire sample, and so uh, the net neutralization is 0%, and you'll see that that is no longer um, displayed in the, in the dilution curve for the entire run. Additionally, um, now we'll see, we also see that on the bottom in the plate data, um, those same emitted wells are colored in red to indicate that they are not part, they are not uh, contributing to any of the analysis. At the top of the page, you'll see that um, if QC has been performed for this run, uh, you'll see a note on when the QC was performed and who performed it. A user can always go back, provided they have the proper permissions and um, perform QC over again. So once they do that, they would see that the current state, the current last state of QC is still intact. And so they could go and perhaps add comments, um, remove excluded wells, or add new excluded wells. Now it's important to note that we that in this current implementation, we are not tracking um, the history of QC runs. So uh, what we do, what we do retain is the last time that QC was performed. Um, so we wouldn't necessarily know that QC was performed um, twice or three times. Uh, we only know, knew that the last time it was performed. For users that have read access um, but do not have admin access, what they will see is um, the view excluded data. Um, they will not be allowed to edit or create QC. If they click on that, what they will see is um, the read only view of um, the QC run. So they'll see which, which wells were omitted, um, they'll see the plate. Um, layout, they'll see any comments that were added to the uh, to each well. Additionally, in the runs grid, um, as well as in the run data grid, an optional column can be added um, called the QC flags. If QC has been performed on a particular run, you'll see a link that will appear next to it. If you click on that link, you'll see a dialog that will give you a quick summary of um, what wells were QC'd for this particular run and whether or not um, any comment was, was added. So in this case, there were no comments added um, and we see the, the, uh, the wells that were emitted. So I've shown, I've shown the QC for our standard um, 96 well NAB assay type. Um, the QC feature is enabled for all the NAB assays. Uh, this includes the standard NAB assays shown, as well as the high throughput single or cross plate dilution NAB assays. Um, Looking ahead, uh, we are 
we are thinking of adding some additional QC uh, features. Um, we don't have any solid plans yet, but some ideas are um, augmenting the manual QC with programmatic QC, where um, you could configure a threshold at which wells would automatically be excluded, um, and things of that nature. So with that, that, it, that concludes my demo of the NAV QC feature.